Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel Unlock Your Learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSC Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 18 Percentage and its Applications Exercise 18F Question Number 1. Okay, for solving this question, we must understand one concept that is of simple interest. Okay, so what is this simple interest? Okay, suppose you are in need of some money. Okay, and I I, and I give you some money. Let's say I uh, lend you rupees 100. So that rupees 100 which I which I am uh, giving to you, which I am lending to you, that becomes the principal amount. Okay. This is the amount that I am giving you for, uh, for the task that you need. You need money for uh, now immediately, right? Now, when I'll give you some money, I'll think of my profit as well. So you have to repay me that rupees 100. But with some extra money after a few times right so suppose i say there is 10 percent interest on rupees 100 that i am giving you for one year let's say so you will have to pay me rupees 110 that is 100 plus 10 percent of 100 at the end of the year so that becomes our amount amount is the simple interest with the principal amount principal amount is the amount that i give you and simple interest is what 10 percent 10% of 100 that is rupees 10. So this means with 100 you will have to pay me additional rupees 10 so that I also get some profit right. So this is simple interest basically we have principal okay. So principal that is the amount that the that is being lent right to the uh, to the person and for finding simple interest we have one simple formula for that we need to know the principal we need to know the rate and we need to know the time these three things right principal is the amount that is being lent rate is like i gave you an example 10 percent simple interest 10 percent becomes our rate time per year i told so this means in one year or maybe if you have two or three years so for one year it will be that much okay it can be two years three years four years as well okay and for finding simple interest we have the formula p into r into t upon 100 okay this equals to the simple interest that will say si p is again principal r is rate t is time okay and remember the time and this rate right so time can always be in months or year that you have to keep a watch off okay and now you see here that this is our simple interest that is the amount that you have to pay with the principal. So there is one more thing that is amount. Amount is what? Amount is the sum of the principal and the simple interest. This is the final amount that you will pay with the simple interest. Okay. So with the help of these, we will solve this question. Right. So the first question says, find the simple interest and amount when? So we have to find simple interest and amount. So simple interest is PRT upon 100 and amount is principal plus simple interest. Remember these two things. Now it says first principal is rupees 600. So principal is 600 and rate is 8%. This PA, what does this mean? Per annum, that is per year, simple, right? So 8% rate per year and time is two years, right? So first of all, for finding this, we must know the simple interest. Then only we can find the amount. So we know the principal is 600, right? P is rupees 600. R, that is the rate is 8% per annum. Okay. And the time is two years. So our SI, that is the simple interest becomes PRT upon 100, right? So we will substitute the values accordingly. This becomes what? P is 600 into the rate that is 8% into the time that is 2 years upon 100. Right. Cancel this. Cancel this. So this becomes what? 6 8s are become. So this becomes what? 8 6 are 48 and into 2 that becomes 8 to the 16 and 1 4 to the 8 1 9. So 96. Rupees 96 becomes our simple interest right si and we know that this is the simple interest now we'll find the amount amount is what the principal plus the si that is the simple interest 
So replace the values. Principal is 600. SI is 96 plus 96. So this becomes rupees 696, right? So amount is 696 and simple interest is rupees 96. Let's move on to the next part. Now in the next part we have principal equals rupees 750. The rate is 9% per annum and time is 5 years. Okay. So we know the principal rupees 750 and the rate that is R simply 9% per annum. Okay. And we know the time that is 5 years. Okay. So all the three all the three things we know now use the formula so SI equals to PRT upon 100 P is 750 R is 9 into T is 5 upon 100 cancel this 0 cancel this one 10 and 75 will be cancelled 1 and 15 here then uh, 2 and 9 cannot be cancelled okay so let's solve this what will this be 15 nines are is 135 and uh, into 5 let's solve this right so rupees 675 upon 2 okay so this you can convert to decimals so 3 and 3 337.5 rupees right this will become the answer okay now this is a simple interest now we will find the amount so amount equals to p plus si principal plus the simple interest this is your si simple interest okay and principal is 750 so 750 plus 337.5 okay so 7 5 3 is 8 7 3 is 10 1 0 8 7 and point 0.5 will be as it is you can do the addition as per your convenience right so this becomes our amount that is 1087.5 rupees and simple interest is 337.5 rupees now let's move on to the next now next part is principal is 850 rate is 1.5% per month and time is 1.3 years okay now one thing you need to see is that principal given to us is rupees 850 the time is 1.3 three years but the rate okay that is what 1.5 percent per month again remember this thing if the time is given in years then the rate cannot be in per month it has to be per annum that is per year right so we know that 1.5 percent is for what one month one month 1.5 so 12 months that will be one year 12 months becomes what 1.5 into 12 this becomes your rate for per annum this will be what 12 5 is a 0 and 660 so 180 and point so point 18% right 18% per annum interest this becomes our interest rate of interest now we find the simple interest so SI becomes what PRT upon 100 that is principal that is 850 time is into time that is 1.3 years into this rate that is 18 percent per annum so simply write 18 upon 100 okay so what will this become cancel this zero and cancel this zero right 10 and 18 can be cancelled 5 and 9 then 85 and 5 can be cancelled 1 1 and 7 right so we get 17 into 1.3 right what does this give us 1 so 17.3 uh, into 9 as well okay now 17 into 351 and 5 so 221 and again decimal point and into 9 so this becomes what 9 1s are 9 9 2s are 8 and 1 8 and 1 19 okay so 198.9 rupees this becomes our simple interest now we'll find the amount okay amount is what the principal plus the simple interest that is 850 plus 198.9 what does this become 8 9 5 14 and 1 so 10 1048 
and again 0 0.9 so rupees 1048.9 becomes our answer now let's move on to the next part so the next part is principal equals 400 uh, rate is 10 paise per rupee per annum and time is 6 months right so again principal is rupees 400 this is pretty clear time is 6 months again months will be converted to years remember this okay because it is a bit easy to do it in years only right so 6 months becomes 6 upon 12 so that you can convert this into years so divide by 12 okay 1 2 so 1 upon 2 uh, years this is the time now the rate now this is something we need to understand it says 10 paise right per rupees per annum okay now what does this mean 10 paise will be the interest on 1 rupee okay and that will be for one year so first you ign in this ignore this per annum now see here 10 paise per rupee so on 1 rupee there is interest of 10 paise now we must find the interest on 100 rupees then only we can say the that this much percent is the rate so this is for 1 rupee now if we multiply 10 paise by 100 right if we do this this becomes 10 paise per 100 rupees right and per annum will be as it is don't touch the per annum right now why multiply it by 100 because 10 paise is for 1 rupee if we want to know for 100 rupees what we will do multiply this by 100 so 10 into 100 per uh, paise okay per paise 100 rupees 100 rupees right so what does this become uh, let's see this becomes 1000 uh, paise per 100 rupees right per annum now one thing you see here that this 1000 paise paise can be converted into rupees as well so we divide it by 100 so that this becomes what rupees so divide this by 100 so these two zeros will be cancelled these two zeros will be cancelled so 10 uh, rupees right simply you can say uh, rupees 10 per annum so simply our rate becomes 10 percent per annum okay so at last this is the rate on what o the overall uh, rate now we know the rate 10 percent we know the time that is 1 by 2 years and we know the principle right now we'll find the simple interest that is going to be prt so si equals to prt that is 400 into the rate is 1 by uh, sorry the time 1 by 2 into 10 upon 100 again okay this will be cancelled this will be cancelled these two zeros will be cut these two zeros will be cut so this becomes 4 into 5 rupees 20 this becomes RSI amount becomes P plus the simple interest and that becomes uh, this 400 that is our principal plus simple interest that is 20 so rupees 420 becomes our amount now let's move on to the next part right so this is the fifth part and it is the principal is rupees 300 okay the rate that is r is rupees this is 12 percent and the time is eight months again divide eight months by this is 12 percent per annum right so per annum means what per year again so divide eight months because rate is for per year and the time is in months which cannot be possible both of the things have to be in year or months okay so eight months will convert to years so eight upon 12 cancel this cancel this two and three so two upon three years right this becomes our time now the simple interest becomes what 300 into 12 into 2 upon 3 upon 100 so cancel this 3 cancel this 100 cancel this 100 and this two zeros uh, just cancel 100 and 100 so 12 into 2 that becomes 24 rupees this becomes our simple interest and the amount is equal to the principal plus the simple interest so principal is 300 
and simple interest is 24 this becomes rupees 324 that is our amount and this is our simple interest all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye bye